An endless multiverse of possibilities awaits you, with champions from worlds both familiar and entirely unique to this strange realm. They wait to have their true power unleashed by the Summoner. Well, hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are live. A little late. <clears throat> I overslept, uh, well, I would say this morning, but this afternoon. My schedule is all off the wall here. But how's everybody doing today? Let's switch over here to this. And let's get air server going. No time to waste. Although I do have to do one thing, looks like. Let's see. Whoop, whoop. Hey, hey. Behave yourself. All right. Check that. Check that. All right. Mm, wait. Oh, hold it. All right, let's get that going up here. Turn that down a bit and let's get going. All right, Epignosis, first one in. What is up, brother? <clears throat> Followed by the Jiggly. How you doing, man? What's going on? Good morning, Shadowverse. T. Smitty in the building. How you doing? Let's see, uh, Teko Jr. What is up, man? I'm wondering, how does this time work for you? Are you just uh, sneaking in during work? I was in Albion with Tabi until maintenance hit at 3 a.m. my time. Uh, I wasn't in Albion all the way up till then, but yeah, I just couldn't wake up. Or rather, I couldn't stay awake. What do we got here? Crack the piggy bank. Nah, I don't want to. Ghost dog! <gasps> What's up, man? Nope. No clickbait today. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, and guys... Maybe I do have a, well, it's not really an excuse, but I did a thing yesterday. Yesterday uh, was a busy day for me with uh, MCOC related stuff. You know, I was making the videos and all, but I also <clears throat> did a few things. Notice the level up has not been touched. Not done yet. However, whew, 
but let's claim that flower. I really hate how they've done this, but I get why they did it. I just don't like it. But, um, look at the winter of woe. Look at me points. I did it. Winter of woe. I did all the objectives. I did uh, the guillotine, uh, deathless guillotine. I did the the one for the mutant and all that good stuff. And I did the one for control, denial, all that. Um, hmm? Annie, who's that? What, 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 what you doing, Annie? Ah. <clears throat> All right. Can't believe they're adding Spider Punk next month. Why are you surprised? What's up, Lane Legend? How you doing, man? You're surprised as much as he was talking about Spider-Punk? He wasn't going to let that go. All right. Um, I'll get in that uh, after the stream. Side quest. Look at the Alliance War so Showcase. Did that one as well. Spider Punk isn't a real Spidey. Okay. That um that Alliance War uh showcase. I can see why people would hate it. I didn't have a, a major issue with it. I soloed most of it. Like, um, cause I, I didn't record anything. So, bleh. um, <clears throat> hold on. All right. So I can tell you guys, uh, kind of who I use drunk reaper. What's up, man? So against um, Venom, I used Hulkling. Very easy fight. Against um, Kindred, I used my, uh, and she's only ranked three. I used my um, Titania. On the right-hand side, um, this uh, future Ant-Man, I used Hulkling. For um, Red Skull, I used Hercules. Because, yes, I did bring him. I got solos on all four of these until Sasquatch. That one, I went through my team, getting them down, and then finished them off. It took me, I think it was uh, two uh, revives on that Sasquatch. <clears throat> then I soloed Werewolf by Night and Mysterio. I used Hercules. And then Photon, as we all know, is a pain, and I used Hercules. Didn't get a solo, of course, but I didn't use that many revives. Left side, 
you know, obviously the same for those first two. Long shot. Um, who did I use for long shot? I think I used Titania again. Uh, yeah, I used Titania. Hercules would not work for that fight. Don't even bother. But Titania for that. Um, I brought Silk. She also can do that fight, but she was taking too long. I used Silk against um, against that Bishop. Very easy fight. And then I was like, oh boy, what's going to happen? Am I going to get stopped here? I tried a couple and, and died, but Titania again did that. And then um, not a solo. Um, I used like a revive or two. Um, Zemo was a solo. That was Hulkling. And then it was the same as, as the uh, first one. Although I did end up messing up and using a revive on that Mysterio. I soloed him the first time. The second time he, he got me um, and I used a revive. And then Photon, it was the same thing. Uh, used some others. I tried using Elsa, didn't really work. I saw that um, Mantis can work, but I'm not really that good with her. So I just herked it. He's Hobie Brown. That makes him the Prowler. Yeah, if he's not uh, Peter Parker, then yeah. He's not my Spider-Man. Just like Hulk. If it's not um, Bruce Banner, he's a Hulk, but he's not the Hulk. All right. So that was my rundown of that. I didn't decide to record it. Too many videos out there already, and I'm just like, eh. I did record my Winter of Woe fights, and I'll put those videos out later. All right, let's get started. Forgotten, what's up, man? I'm glad you didn't forget me. Now, I got four hours to do this um, T4 basic. So I guess I should start in there. There are units in here, so we got to do it. Oh, man. So, the Winter of Woe, I didn't even really try to get a solo. I did what I needed to do. I saw uh, MCLC Noob showed a way to do the... Um, guillotine 2099 fight and i only have a rank three six star guillotine and i still did the fight and it wasn't really that bad doing it the way that um not with with her the trouble i started having was when i actually had to try to evade that special too because of course i didn't know how to do it and so i had to learn to do that uh unknown what's up man and evading that special two is still not fun i did it but then sometimes i mess up and sometimes i swipe and they just don't move and i'm like oh come on and I'm guessing that it was my timing that was locking me in place or something. I don't know. Tabib, what's up? I, I'm i still farming uh, combat points, combat fame. And I'm saving my um, tomes. Ah, okay. I'm saving my tomes for a uh, tank build. And uh, 
I used up uh, a good um, two mil silver. But it should um, help me out, and then I'll be able to do some uh, dungeons, and we won't need to constantly try to find uh, someone. Uh, Stiletto is on the mend. In fact, that message, I don't know if you guys could hear it. That little doo -doo, I don't know if you heard that. I have my messages on my phone linked to the web. So um, she's actually on her way. I'm not sure where. Um, I know she has an appointment this Thursday. Jason and Jabari Gaming, what's up? How you doing, Jay Will? Jay Will in the building. You really should come with us for farming up your tank build. We do T8 solo dungeons in a black zone and level up fast. Well, I can, I can, um, ooh, let's do that. Yeah, but, uh, oh, well, I guess in the solo dungeon, I guess. Cause I was gonna say, we still need some uh, a, a good uh, group. Uh, Jay Will, the family is uh, doing okay. My sister seems to be um, doing better, but then again, she's hopped up on uh, morphine and uh, other painkillers. So, but she has an appointment this Thursday. But yeah, I mean, we can we can go out there and do it. I've done it. I've done it once before. Come on. Come on. There you go. There he is. So maybe maybe I'll um I'll come with you guys next time. I have gear. Um, low level, you know, gear. And we did it until I I needed to um. Cause I, I turned on my my um. Respect, and I did it till I needed to start uh getting some money back. But yeah, it was it was pretty good. But the thing is, doing a solo dungeon, especially in a group like that, the fame that I got versus the fame that I'm getting with my respec on doing like an Abbey and, and uh, you know, in the miss is more. Yeah, T. Smith, you do. I thought you had already. Oh, I'm not coming with high level gear. Not me. Just in case. I swear, if I lost my high-level gear, I'd be so pissed. Good night. But anyway, um, I think I have about three mil combat credits right now. Not counting the um, tomes and such that I have.
Yeah, now that I can do. Yeah. Well, I have a T4 set. I'll have to, um... Some of the gear for the tank set is the same as I've been using uh, for my other um, set. So I have it already maxed out. But yeah, I can get a um, buy a, a little uh, T4 set for uh, the tank build. But what I've been doing is before I start getting into the tank thing, um, I've been working on the combat credits because it's easier and it's more fun. <clears throat> and then I just put those over. And by the time I'm ready, I'll have a, you know, a decent skill level uh, in the weapon. Because it's only the weapon that I've been uh, working on there. If you do Black Zone content, your guild also gets season point and rank up. Okay. When I get there, I may go to the axes for the Black Zone and go from there. Yeah, I was going to do axes uh, next, but we need a tank. Actually, we need a, um, a tank and a, a healer, but Tabib can be either. And I'm definitely not doing a, a, a healer. Last time I did a healer was um in a um what in the world uh the last <laughs> last time i did a, a healer was on um what was that game from mythic but their healer was different their healer was like a fighting healer in one of the realms dark age of camelot that was it dark age of camelot had three realms one of the realms was albion another one was midgard and another one was hibernia And the Midgard healer, you know how you always want to go after the healer first? Yeah, you do that. The healer could, the healer might not be, you know, obviously uh, be able to handle, you know, a warrior, but they're surprised, they were surprisingly tough. So you didn't just go over there and roll over them. You were leveling a blood letter. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, um, oh, she has arrived. For now, I will uh, work on the tank build, but then I want to go back, you know. Did I say what's up, Arner? Owner, what's up, man? Definitely want to go back to um, the other gear there. Try that uh, melee build and whatnot with the axes. Uh, tomorrow, I am going to do, uh, I think, Legacy's Challenge. Then, um, then the only um, deathless uh, piece I'll be missing is the one from uh, Winter of Woe. I definitely wanted to do this content 
because it was not um, permanent. And I did not want to miss a piece. Yeah, that cursed staff. I do like that cursed staff. I can work on my axes while you work on your tank build. Then we could trade. That works. I've done, um, the one thing with tanking, it certainly helps if you are familiar with the, um, what you're doing. I, I wouldn't want to tank when I first started the game, you know? Colossus. Oh, and then you're gonna, you know what? Just keep standing there. Raj, what's up, man? How you doing? But yeah, I'll probably on Tuesday do that, and Wednesday I really got to start doing the um. Battlegrounds. So, I was thinking Tuesday or Wednesday, got to do the um, Battlegrounds. <laughs> it's getting, uh, getting down to the wire now. But, my minimum is not that 350 I was doing before. Here it's only 200, so. Today, 25% uh, was that bonus on fishing? Yeah, I'm gonna work on fishing eventually. <clears throat> I will definitely work on fishing, but right now, I think I'm at the place. Oh, oh, oh. I actually bought, um, you know, the pork pie. I always use the pork pie, right, when I'm uh, gathering. I actually bought a few pork pie with uh, point one Enchanted. And I started using that. But when I do that, I will basically just do gathering. Unless, like last night, I encountered two epic wisps. But other than that, I just do pure gathering. I don't even go into the uh, abbey until the food is out. It's Annie, what's up? <clears throat> so, we shall see, we shall see. Whoop. Hey, come on, come on, wake up, there you go. Yeah. So, we'll see. I use pork pie 7.2 when it's bounce day. Other than that, normal. That should be interesting. Maybe I'll do that uh, just for today. That 7.2 was a bit expensive, if I remember correctly, though. But if that's all you are doing, worth it. I think the seven point, was it 7.1 I was using? I think that gives you like 17% yield, 17.5 or something like that. I keep running into a bunch of wisp poachers. I'll be fighting mobs around the wisp and they come in and free it 
and run while I'm fighting. Yeah. Yeah, that is annoying. Yeah, I'm seeing your chat. I'm seeing you say, um, say stuff, Annie. Hit him with it. Oh, on Discord. Well, I'll, I'll have to look when I'm when I'm uh, done streaming, because I have to keep looking over to uh, Discord to see those messages. Color theme. Usually black, which is my favorite color. I don't know how well it'll show up on things, but yeah, usually it's black. Well, my favorite colors are black, red, blue. So it could be a combination of those. Oh yeah, I gotta get, I gotta, um, on the uh, guild island, I need to put some laborers. Okay. Oh. Well, Ghost Dog is about to get his wish. So I don't want to sit here waiting for another three hours afterwards. So, y'all can just ignore the glitch. Just quick glitch. Ooh, nothing to see here. All gone. Add to the details. Shadow Smash. You can put Shadow Smash in there. Spelled, of course, the way I spell my name. Instead of Hulk Smash, it'd be Shadow Smash. My Swift Claw, uh, claw Cub just produced a groan and another cub. Yeah, I got to go over there and uh, feed mine. I got four of them growing, too. Uh, A.E. Shadow. A.E. There we go. There you go. No, it's not it's not my gamer tag, but uh that would be like the caption for the logo. Shadow Smash. Ooh, two more uh, stag fawns. Sweet. <sighs> I tell you. That game is definitely uh, uh, fun and interesting. Although I know I'm, I'm somewhat uh, antisocial on it, but... Is because after I'm doing all of this, I go to that to relax. I told you guys, I'm not a people person. Do you, do you know the difference?
between uh, somebody that's not a people person that's that's actually an introvert. Yeah, Jiggly, there was a glitch. When you say gamer tag, I don't really have a a tag that I use all the time. But yeah, I'm like um hard to describe, but yeah, usually when I'm playing unless we're actually doing like a group activity I, I just like how I'm doing right now I sit here and I'm doing this by myself but I'm chatting with you guys right well in a uh, in a uh, Albion I'm usually gathering and I got YouTube on catching up on on different uh, podcasts and and uh, shows and things like that and it's fun. Okay, okay, Annie. But yeah, so don't think I'm I'm just being, you know, <laughs> so standoffish. That that's just me. Ask ask uh, Temple, who's forever uh, getting after me for that. Oh, I I can't pay anything, Annie. Not not at the moment. Can't pay anything. That's why I don't usually have any of that kind of stuff uh, commissioned. I have folks that would do it for free for me. I just never have hit them up uh, for it. Uh, also asked Temple how much getting onto Lost Shadow about communicating works. It, that's because it's me. Okay. Check it out. Just so you guys know that this is not something new that I, you know, in my old age. In college, my best friend, Storm Shadow, right? We met in college. He was, um, I think, one grade below me. Remember, I got skipped. So he was one grade below me in college. And... We met, we had fun and all that. And then later he left college, went back. Now I'm in Michigan and he lived in Wisconsin, not that far away. So he would sometimes call. Now, if you ask him how many times I called him, it's about the same amount of time that he wrote me. What I rather do and what I would do. Now, mind you, I'm in Michigan. He's in Wisconsin. I visited him. I would actually get in the car with a bunch of friends and we drove to Wisconsin to hang out with him. But as far as a uh, phone, I, I, I didn't. Now, fast forward to today. The only time we used to talk on the phone almost every day was because we were gaming together every day. Once we stopped gaming together, Didn't really 
talk on the phone. Now we talk once a year, usually on on our birthdays. Sometimes he'll call me and we'll talk and then I'll call him, which is only like a week apart. Uh, our birthdays are only like a week apart. And th th that's it. You know? But that's 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 been me for a long time. Never been one to, to, you know, always chat or whatever uh, on the phone. And I just recently, uh, I think I took, actually, I don't know if I told you guys. Um, so the phone that I'm using is uh, one of those government uh, free phones, right? Okay. You want to act up like that? Um, it's one of those free phones. I was with uh, Assurance Wireless, right? Now, in order to um, keep your phone, you have to make one phone call or text every month. Just one. Sounds simple and easy, right? Yeah. I didn't do it one month. This last month or so. And so I ended up having to uh, get a phone back again, reapply. And then Assurance Wireless acted up, um, said that they, you know, um, applied for me and I waited a week and nothing. So I was like, okay, I see. And so instead of Assurance Wireless, who I've been using for a long time, I'm glad that worked out. Um, I switched over to another company, uh, SafeLink. And it's been going pretty well. New phone and all that. And the phone is definitely nicer than the one I was using. Vernon, money earn him out, Vernon. What's up? How you doing, man? Mitten College just called him back three months ago. <laughs> no, not that bad. Raven Knight, what's up, man? Hmm. Let's do that. Yeah, I do have crops in uh, Brazilian, I think. Haven't been there, I don't know how long now. All right. Uh, yeah, my sister, she's hopped up on um, painkillers. So she's feeling better, all right. I used to give out phones through Assurance Wireless. Yeah. The customer reps are trash. Yeah. When I caught that 10, the phone, the one Asian female kept hanging up. Yeah. That's why I switched. There you go. Whoa, ho, ho. 
I popped in while I was in the area. Tell me your budget. I don't really have a budget because I don't make enough. In fact, I'm in the process of um, finally um, switching banks. Yeah, let me, let me, I gotta, I gotta read this to you guys. Just so you know, you know, if, if, if I was working, there wouldn't be a problem, but apparently they're trying to phase out people like me. Upcoming changes to my checking account. And, uh, May is when it's going to change over. Now, get this. My current account has a $7 monthly fee. Now, it used to be 5 Okay? They raised it up to 7 It's like, really? I'm giving you my money. And you're trying to take more money from me. You obviously see I don't have a lot, right? But anyway. <clears throat> says the uh, new one, the maintenance fee is $10. And here are the ways to avoid it. Make $500 or more in total qualifying electronic deposits. I don't. That's one from before, which I didn't. The account is linked to a Wells Fargo campus ATM card or campus debit card. Got to be a student for all that. Um, it can be linked to a Prime or Premier checking account, which, by the way, has very different um, requirements, and I couldn't meet those. Okay, but those three that I just mentioned are the old ones, which I didn't meet. Anyway, now here's new. Maintain a $500 minimum daily balance. I don't. The primary account owner, owner is 17 to 24. Yeah, I'm not, <clears throat> which they know, because I've been with them for almost that long. Um, and then as part of the Wells Fargo Worldwide Military Banking Program. Make a qualifying monthly non-civilian military direct deposit. Which I don't. So basically, <clears throat> they're telling me if I want to stay with them, I'm going to be paying $10 a month rather than what I was paying before. <clears throat> that don't work for me. So I had already uh, set up some other accounts <clears throat> and I'm just going to start using those. They're free, first of all. So it's something I should have done probably a while back. Okay, Annie. That's why I'm happy I'm a veteran. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, I used to have Chase as well. USAA. I, I looked into USAA to see if I could uh, qualify based on, you know, my dad being a veteran. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to, though. It was years and years ago. I needed to look into it again. I was working at the time, too. But yeah, if you're a veteran, you're set. If I were... If I were also... Um, 
Hey, there you go. Um, if I were also on uh, Social Security, wouldn't have an issue as well. I believe it goes as far as grandchildren. They then were willing to waive the fee. So I let them waive the fee, then close the account. Wow. <laughs> Wait, Raven Knight. I must have missed something that you said earlier. Yeah, the last thing that you said before that was you were asking about my sister. So I think uh, YouTube ate your previous message. <laughs> I was like, huh? I was like, who who was willing to waive the fee? And what account? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. But yeah, I think they um they did that. They uh ate it. But yeah, so instead I'll just be banking with Chime, which is not really a bank but they do use a bank to give you their uh, services. But see, a lot of those kind of things weren't available to me when I first opened up my bank account. You know, um, you needed a bank account so that they could put, you know, direct deposit in because there was a time where I didn't have a bank and it was a pain trying to get checks cashed and things like that it was a royal pain but nowadays I can just get them to deposit directly you know and you have options Chime and uh, Axos I think Axos is what how you say that are two banks that I'm using one of them or not banks but what do they call them online services I guess I don't know but they both use banks they themselves are not a bank but they use banks and it meets all my needs I don't write checks so I don't need that and I don't know, check cashing I might need to do, but I haven't needed to do it for a while. Only if they, you know, somebody sends me a check, a refund or something, you know. Other than that, cash app. If I need a direct deposit, Chime or Axos, either one of them can do it. Some banks are shady, had one charge me $35 overdraft fee for being 30 cents overdrawn. Oh, I asked them to waive it. They wouldn't. Said I was going to close the account. Oh, okay, I got you now. Raven Knight, did I tell you, and I know I have already told this story before, about the most expensive pizza I ever purchased? Did I ever tell you about that? Well, it, it goes with uh, what you were just saying. All right, those of you who have already heard the story, just bear with me. So back in college, and this is by the way, why I don't really write checks. In college, it was one time, and I had a bank account and everything, and I was hungry, and I wanted to get a pizza. So I went and got a personal pan pizza. Now, I want you all to think about this. This is back in the... Um, uh, late 80s, early 90s. A personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut. It was around five bucks. Okay? 
Now, I did not have at that moment a um, debit card. So I couldn't just swipe the card or anything. So I was running around with these checks. Now, this is me new to uh, the banking and all that, right? So I was like, I think I remember that I should have about as much as I need to get this uh, pizza. So I wrote the check for the uh, pizza. All right. Ate the pizza, had a ball. Okay, about $5, $5 pizza and some change. Then I get a series of charges. So let me tell you what the charges were. So in my account, I was short about 20 or 30 cents. Okay. That's how much I was short. So they charge me an overdraft fee. All right. But guess what? They didn't pay for the pizza. They still didn't pay for it. They just charged the fee. So now my account is even further in the hole. Then, because I wrote a check that they refused, I got hit with a return check fee as well. And you're allowed to try it twice. So I got hit with two NSF, you know, overdraft fees, not sufficient fund fee, and two return check fees. And it still wasn't paid. A few cents. I was short. And all of that could have been avoided if they had charged me a non-sufficient fund fee and paid it. Okay, I messed up. I should have checked, blah, 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 right? But that's not what they did. They kept refusing it, so I got two return check fees and two overdraft fees and still had to pay for the pizza. Most expensive pizza ever. I have never paid that much for a pizza. I was like, I don't believe this. I tell you. Now, here's the thing. I remember calling them up and saying, look, you're charging me all these uh, NSF fees and overdraft fees, and then they didn't even pay for it. So I'm like, turn it off. I don't want it. Oh, we can't do that. What? Oh yeah, we can't do that. I mean, what if you were out somewhere and you needed you know, the money? I'm like, really? Y'all didn't even pay for, for the, the few cents that I was short. And you telling me that this is for my own good. I see. And they weren't the only ones. The banks were shady as, yeah. So then the government passed a law. No epignosis, they didn't, exactly. The government passed a law that allows you to turn that off. 
And that's what I have done. At the time, I had like a couple of banks. Turned them off. Um, it was years after that happened. I was down here in Georgia when it when uh Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. We already hit our two mil, so. Let's quit out of that. Um, we already got our two mil. Now we can start in here. See that white tiger? I still rank up. Four stars. So now you actually have an option, not that they are going to be forthcoming about it, but now I don't get charged NSF fees. If I don't have enough, they just refuse it. And I use, you know, cards, and of course I manage my uh, account better so I know I can easily check how much I have. You know, back then it was a little bit more different, uh, difficult. You had to balance your checkbooks and all that good stuff. Remember that? But now I can just check. Uh, yeah, Vernon. That's what uh, they were saying earlier. Spider-Punk and Prowler. Should be interesting. 80s, I don't recall us having debit cards back then. Yeah, they were just coming on the scene. The debit check card type thing. But my bank that I was using at that time were just getting them. They didn't have them when I, you know, first signed up with them. They were just getting them. I don't know either one of them. Wait until you see Kabam Jax on his next uh, live MCLC stream. It's going to be epic. Yeah, I knew. I knew. That's why I wasn't surprised. The way he was talking up Spider Punk, I knew it was coming. They weren't, he wasn't gonna let that go. No way. But yeah, Hobie Brown, I don't know anything about either one of them. So we'll see. Maybe they'll be a counter to some of the more annoying defenders. That's usually what Kabam does. Eventually, they'll start making counters to the uh, defenders that you're having so much trouble with. Prowler is like Hood and Killmonger with claws. Ooh, okay. We'll see how good they are, though. We shall see. I wonder who we're going to have to fight um, in the winter of woe and whether they, uh, they'll time it so that one of those will be the perfect counter to it. Hopefully not like Gladiator. Yeah, see? That's why I don't get excited. I just like wait and see. They don't have a good history uh, every once in a while, you know. Uh, Prowler is Miles' uncle. Okay. I did see that too. I loved uh, Into the Spider Verse, that was really good. <laughs> Come on. Oh, ow. Come on. Oh, come on. My goodness. <laughs> okay. We got to fight you like this then. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Thank you. I bet you'd be excited if uh, we're what help. Oh, Vernon. Let them bring in something like World Breaker Hulk. That's when you'll see me grinding for a six-star champion again. Not even a question. Clear my calendar. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. He mine. No way. Have to do it. You saw what happened with Onslaught. Onslaught came and I'm like, okay. Had to grind for him. How about Claw? Claw? Is that what you meant? Or is that a different person there? Claw with the one hand, vibranium, but all that? Or is that somebody different that you uh, mentioned? K-L-U-H, because I don't recognize that name. All right, Epinosis, have fun at work, man. It's a Hulk variant? Is it Bruce Banner? I don't think I heard of that one. No one is stronger than Hulk. Always loved it, man. Always. And he get beat. Don't matter. Hulk is strongest. I'm like, go ahead, Hulk. He is definitely my favorite, hands down. No Diddy Hulk. What? No diggity, no doubt. Oh man. Although I was surprised that Hulk um, lost to Thing. I only saw one encounter, and of course, Hulk knocked the rocks off him. But I didn't realize that they fought more than once, and that sometimes Thing won. I was like, "Woo! Thing stronger, more powerful than I thought. Of course, Hulk wasn't, you know, really, really angry. That's the thing with Hulk. The angrier he gets, you catch him when he's real pissed? Yeah. That's why I was so fascinated. That World Breaker Hulk, he got so angry, he, he was like, he himself was like, put me down. You know, take me, take me out. <laughs> This is this is not good. Because the one thing he always was, he was always protective. And he saw that he himself was about to be the biggest danger to the world. And he was like, no. Can't have that. Hulk always been my boy. So yeah, they bring him in. Yeah, we gotta do it. There we go. All 
right. Win streak five. Now we can go top down. I do want to get Bullseye, though. I might have to grind for him if I don't get him in a crystal. I may have to grind for him uh, when he comes around to the basic. And this girl here, this power game, Steel, she is fun. I got to give her that. Every time I hear people talk about her, they're like, she is fun to play. And I watch KT1 use her, and she wasn't no joke. Ooh, oh. That's how you want to play it, eh? Eat all that. Hope you was hungry. Tell you. Destroyer also look he looks cool. <laughs> what KT1 say looks like um Cyclops older, like thug brother. Give him new geese. <laughs> ah, that made me laugh. I actually uh remember reading um a comic where Colossus, his brother, came over and they were having a fight. And I knew something was up because Colossus was pounding on him and he was not fighting back. And I'm like, dang, Colossus, why are you doing him like that? You know, but Colossus knew he could. And he pounded on him. And then finally, his brother was like, my turn. And went, poof, with a finger. Nearly took Colossus out. I said, okay. We now understand why Colossus was going all out. Your brother, Papa. I think that was his brother. It's been so long, though. But yeah, I would love that. Now, there you go. Everybody's always asking me who I want to see in the game. So let's add that. Um, we got Cloak and Dagger. And I say World Breaker Hulk. Although we do have um, enough Hulks in the game, I think. But uh, for me, can't have too many Hulks, as long as they do them right. OG Hulk, Immortal Hulk, yeah, we need a we need a World Breaker Hulk, and he needs to be powerful. I will grind for a World Breaker Hulk, even if he's not good. I grind for him anyway. Because he's Hulk. Gotta do it. Mm. So, tomorrow... Expect me to do... Um, Legacy's Challenge. And then Wednesday, I'll probably need to do some more uh, Battlegrounds. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, T. Smith. Because there's so much content I need to get done. Like yesterday, I did uh, the Winter of Woe. And I did the AW uh, Showcase. And I need to um, 
get that legacy challenge done, even though it's permanent content. And I doubt I'm going to go for the uh, seven star Nightcrawler. You have to get to Gladiator Circuit three times, I think. Yeah, no thank you. Maybe I'll just uh, level up my six star and be happy with it. Because I'm not trying to do that Battlegrounds more than I have to. It's the one thing that really ticks me off a lot. Company sees that their content is not popular. So they take something that is popular, that they know is going to be needed later, and then they stick it in that one. Huh? Are y'all a bunch of sadists? Because what you should do is fix your mode so that it's more fun and popular. Not force people to do it if they want the goodies that you've told them they're going to need later on. That's not what you do. That's a, a, a form of manipulation that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with that. Not with that at all. Welcome back, Annie. Welcome back. Um. So yeah. They 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 going about it the way that somebody that I don't like would do. I'll just say that. Yeah, I don't have a budget because I don't have money. All my money has to go toward um, me living. Because I'm not working. This is what I do. I don't, I don't make that much from this. I rent out um, a couple of rooms and that money goes toward the mortgage. Can't do it. I told you, I, I don't make that much. Believe it or not, I don't make that much from this. It's why I don't do any of that stuff. Any of the uh, graphics that you see uh, that was done for me, like my profile picture and everything, a friend of mine did that for free. But yeah, I can't. I can't justify the cost. That's why I usually tell folk up front, yeah. Woo! Last Zarnian! See? This is how I, I survive. <laughs> this is how I survive. And, and from that super chat, that's pretty much how I, I live. I live off of this. That's it. So I can't really justify the cost. Even even as little as, as $10. Can't do it. Woo! But thank you, thank you, uh, Last Zarnia, man. 
I'm gonna I'm keeping track. Definitely keeping track. I keep seeing your name up in uh in the uh, uh arena uh leaderboards. How many ways does he have to you? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of, you know. But it's all good. Right now, um, we're having an issue again with one of our renters, too. But we're not letting him go like the other one did. And he did pay um, recently, but he's behind like a month. And we can't, we can't have that. So I need to maybe send him a message. We've already started um um proceedings because he not paying you know and then he paid a little bit but he's still behind so he needs to he needs to catch up because that money is is helping pay the mortgage you know Oh yeah, we do everything in writing. Print it out, sign it, slip it under his door. We got all of that. Copies too. So he's already been served an eviction notice, but we make sure in the eviction notice that he knows what he has to do to avoid that. But we have already um, issued him that. He has until next month, the um, I think the 5th, to do one of two things, either move out or pay what he owes. Now, after he got the eviction notice, he paid... Um, like 275, but he owes still more than that. So he needs to, uh, understand that he needs to, you know, catch up considerably. Now he was doing just fine in the beginning, but it, it looks like he ran into some kind of, uh, legal issue where he, uh, is looking to get a lawyer. But he works at a, a fast food restaurant, so he's not it's not like he's making a lot of money, you know. So I think that is um, causing problems with his uh payment. But he can't be not paying us, saving up for a lawyer. He can't just live here for free, <laughs> you know? Speaking of that, um, I had some uh, good news, but mixed with... Uh, 
a little sadness on my part. This, um, speaking of, of him with all that, um, many, many years ago, um, I needed to uh, hire a lawyer. And I did not have the money for it. This lawyer was like, you know, you know, lawyers are expensive. And I was working, but I was living check to check. This lawyer was something like, um, I think $12,000. And I'm like, okay. What I ended up having to do, I put some on my credit card, maxed it out. And then I got a loan from a um, credit union, not a bank, a credit union. That makes a difference to me. And I did, you know, I got that. He did his job and I was paying it back. Okay. And never missed a payment. Paid it just fine. And then, uh, something happened. And I was unable to pay. Just say that. And when I contacted them later on, you know, I told them the situation, everything, you know, and they were like, oh man, you know, that was, you know, sad because I was, I was paying, I was paying, you know, on time, in full, no problems, you know? Well, I just got, not long ago, I got a letter from them. Basically, they forgave that debt. It was like 10,000. Actually, let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I find it over here. Gotta find it in, among the mail that folks want to buy my house. Uh, I think it's, um, This, uh, da, 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 da. No, no, no. Ah, here it is. Basically, they told they sent me a 1099 C, which I've never gotten before. Um, and I did look, and they said. Sometimes you have to um, report this, but I think in my situation, I don't. But the amount of debt, $8,000 is how much they canceled, uh, they canceled the debt. So... Uh, and, and, and I, it was 10,000, I think, and I had paid about 2000 of it, obviously. Um, but when I got that, you know, I was like, oh man, you know, on the one hand, I don't have that hanging over my head, you know, cause I mean, I, I couldn't pay it anyway. And on, you know, the other hand, I'm like, Hmm, but it's a credit union. 
They have to eat that. So, kind of feel bad about that. Because, I mean, when I was in a position to pay it, I was. Lawyers are the reason you know for sure you want a divorce because of how expensive they are. Is the divorce worth the money? Yeah. Exactly. Very expensive. So I don't know what he's doing. Oh yeah, Gore. Gore and Longshot, I spent a, a, a few revives on in the uh, AW showcase. Think Sasquatch, Gore, and Longshot. Come on. There you go. Yeah, a lot of people stay married simply because it's too expensive <laughs> to get divorced, which is rough. Shouldn't quite be that way, but it is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. But yeah, so, you know, that was somewhat good news. Really, the only debt I have right now is my school loan, unless they forgive it, um, and this house. The, the mortgage was totally worth all I spent for mine. I am now very happy with my current wife and wonderful, fulfilling life now. There you go. It was an investment in your future. And the return on that investment? Well worth the investment. That's what's up. Better than staying miserable. You know, I'll be watching all these true crime dramas and uh, some of the situations, they would have been better off getting a divorce. But now one of them is underground and the other one is, you know, in prison for life. I'm like, yeah, that, 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 ain't, that, ain't, that ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Mm -mm. Oh, did you guys hear? I, I had to look this up because it was earlier this year uh, that it happened. A father was protecting his uh, son and got beaten to death. The way they made it sound um, was definitely worse than it actually was. This was in uh, Maryland, I believe. Icebox. What's up, man? Yes, I did. Prowler. And a uh, spider punk. I just heard two true crime stories where the Justice Department failed back. Yeah, the the system does fail. There was one they put the wrong man in. You know, it fails. I'm not going to go into all that, but because our justice system does fail is why I would be against certain things, because it fails. If it were a perfect system, maybe, you know, but it does, it fails. It's the, I think our justice system is one of the best ones in the world. But it's not perfect. You look at some of the other uh, systems of justice. 
I'll never forget hearing about, um, it, it, this is in, uh, what was it, South Korea, I think. In South Korea, being intoxicated is actually a defense. I couldn't believe it. This man did horrible things, horrible things to an eight-year-old. And when I say horrible, I mean things that she has to deal with for the rest of her life. He messed her up physically. Okay? She can't even go by herself. She she needs help. You know, it, that that pissed me off so bad. You, you guys just don't know. And guess what? Because they argued he was intoxicated, it was a mitigating circumstance. He only got a few years and was back out and was allowed to move back into the neighborhood with that same girl. Somebody tried to take him out, but he's being protected. So yeah, our system may not be perfect, but um, it's definitely, um, I think, the best system in the world. You start comparing some of these other systems. See, over here, that wouldn't happen. Being under the influence of anything, it's not a defense. Because you chose to do that. Unless, unless, um... It was forced on you, you know, unless you were uh, the victim, you know, somebody slipped you something or, or something like that. Otherwise, no, not a defense. But in this one, two 14-year-olds... Uh, got into a fight at school. And apparently, one of them whooped the other one. That 14 year old that got whooped went, told, I guess, his, his daddy or, or uncle or whatever. And they came over, the 14 year old, two of the 14 year old's friends, I think it was, and two adults. 26 and uh, I think in their 30s or whatever and came to their house demanding that 14 year old come out and, and fight adults the father was like no he's not coming out here to fight and they had got this all on a ring camera by the way and the uh, other guy was like, well, if he's not going to fight, then you're going to fight. Now, what it sounded like was that they all jumped him, but that's not what happened. Those two, I think one, one um, blow was thrown. The other guy grabbed him by the, the legs slammed him into the ground and punched him in the head and then they ran away and he later died of um that assault and um i was looking to see what happened you know i was curious you know like whatever happened to that uh he pled guilty they, they found him first of all obviously they had the video um, they found him, the main culprit, the one who was related to the 14-year-old that um, was fighting the other one. He pled guilty to manslaughter. People were very upset about that. But sadly, that is the appropriate charge. You try to get a, a M charge, you know, first degree or something like that, it probably is not going to go well. Because you have to prove premeditation and that they were 
trying to do that very thing, which it's obvious they weren't. They came to fight. They didn't came to take him take him out. You know, there were no weapons. They didn't they didn't do any of that. They just came to fight. Um but he will get that um manslaughter. So he's looking at uh up to ten years, which people were, of course were upset about. They want him in jail for life and everything, you know, but that wouldn't be appropriate, honestly. I, I know why they're saying that, but our system, in this case, I think it, it worked. It may not have worked the way they wanted it to work, but it worked. And uh, his sentencing is going to be uh, in October, I believe. Kingpin, what's up, man? I'm a little busy, just wanted to drop by and hit like real quick. Be good, everyone. All right, Kingpin. Take care, man. But yeah, watching a lot of these shows me a lot of the flaws of our system as well as um, the, the benefits. Shows me all of that. There was a, um, there was one I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, remember some of the details before I start telling you guys. Because they, one of the things that I do like is um, some of the cold cases where they catch them sometimes even years later. They thought they got away with it, which technically they did for a while, you know. System works until it happens to your family. Um, no, it, it works uh, even when it happens to us, but it also fails too. There's no value for human life. But there are some good, like I said, I've been, I watch a lot and I see a good mix. Okay. I see a good mix. Now, what uh, a lot of people don't like, sometimes it doesn't work the way they want it to. You know, like um, when, when a human life is taken. That's where you really start hearing uh, some of these discussions because they want the system to do a certain thing that it doesn't do all the time. Doesn't mean it doesn't work, just means it's not doing what they want it to do. But what's up, diggity? No diggity, no doubt. What is that, CX Shiata? Hello, hello, and welcome to the shadows. You are the latest shadow dweller. How goes it? Welcome to the family. But yeah, I've seen um, several uh, court cases where the family did not get true justice. They didn't. They did not get true justice at all. To me, if you're giving life, just put them down. Taxpayer money waste, huh? I watch a lot too and live in Georgia. Yep, me too. That's where I am, diggity. You know that, right? I'm right here in Georgia. Uh, have fun from Albania. All right. Shout out to Albania. But yeah. 
Yeah, they they like I said, our our system. What I'll, I'll tell you some of the stuff I don't like about our system, and I know some people probably don't think it's a problem, but when you try a case against somebody, okay, you didn't bring enough evidence or, or what have you against them, right? And the jury is deadlocked, meaning there was actually no solution. The prosecutors can bring that case again and again before different juries until they finally get one. They only have to get one. And then you have to fight tooth and nail. So it's easy for them to prosecute. And if they get a conviction, it is near impossible to get that conviction overturned. You'll be in there for years sometimes, even if you finally get it overturned. And see, I, I just don't like that. The other thing I don't really like is the fact uh, that some, well, I'll say this. I don't like that they can lie to you. I just don't like that. I've seen too many times where they lie to young folks that are maybe naive and believe that the police are your friends and are trying to help you. They will lie in order to elicit a confession. You know, like um, there was one, and I, ooh, I hated that one. Uh, there was one where um, they were trying to get this young boy, he was young, to admit to doing something that he didn't do. He really didn't. And you know what they did? They lied to him and told him that his father had seen him and had um, confessed to it and admitted it. Now, that boy was like, well, I know my father doesn't lie to me. And if he saw that, then I must have done it. And I just don't quite remember. See, that ain't right. That form of manipulation like that, that's not right. But they get a confession and he'll go away, which he did. And then they have to fight, 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 trying to get him out of there. And you'll have judges that are like, nope, we don't want to hear it. You know, what you going to do? Unless you have somebody else fighting for you. So, yeah. Our system is definitely not perfect. Uh, I seen that double jeopardy and appeal should be under the same umbrella. Also, I feel that if lawyers want to spin a story, then the jury should be able to ask them to prove the allegations. And see, a lot of cases they don't have what's called direct evidence they have circumstantial evidence which has the same weight and that's why it goes before the jury now i have an issue because all right i'm gonna give you guys i'll tell you to to understand how i look at our justice system Take a security system, all right? You've got a security system that is top-notch, okay? It is top-notch. You got lasers, motion sensors, audi uh, audible uh, sensors. I mean, you got the works, pressure sensors, everything, okay? 
And then you have a human guard. And someone comes in, finesses the guard, who turns off the system. See the problem here? Humans are often the weak link of a system like that. Back in the day, if you wanted to um, hack into a, a, a system that was really uh, strong, that's what you did. This guy actually did it on um, live. He, he called in and he was like, I forgot my password. And he finessed them into giving him access to an account. Boom, he was in. So, knowing all of this, we have a system that has 12 humans who can be finessed, who can have biases, you know? Not a fan. I'm not a fan. That's why a lot of times people take a plea rather than go um, in front of a jury. Because you don't know what's going to happen in front of that jury. And with our society the way it is now, I'm sorry, people don't think right. And putting my life in their hands... That's frightening. Gaslighting at its finest, narcissistic showing at its finest. And if just one juror sees the reasonable doubt, even the slightest, then they will acquit. Yeah. And and uh, unknown. You don't have to have a jury. You know that, right? It's your right, but you don't have to exercise it. You can have a no jury trial. You can elect for that. But that's that's exactly why people sometimes do that. But that has its issues as well, you know? But yeah, so our system's not perfect. It's not perfect. I remember watching somebody have to go to court. I think it was three different times. First time... Second time, deadlocked. The third time, they finally got a conviction. So three times the charm, and now the person is stuck. And how are you going to get out? It's easy to, to bring uh, you know the charges against them each of those times. But it's not so easy for them to, after the conviction... Get it overturned, you know? So, yeah, there's issues. We got we got issues, but it's still, I think, the best system in the world. It's just not perfect. It's got, it's definitely got its issues. I've seen injustice because, of course, you're still dealing with people. So you got corruption, bribes, all kind of stuff goes on behind the scenes. You got people that have their biases, you know, judges, all that good stuff. So, yeah. But they get the chance to get it overturned. But with an acquittal, that's it. Yeah. And and sometimes that has happened. They've actually thrown it out. Do you see um, the Baldwin, um, Alec Baldwin case? He's moving to dismiss it. And if they dismiss it, that's going to be it. This is the second time. They dismissed it the first time, one of the times. And they're going to probably dismiss this one again. And that'll be it. That was an interesting case, I'll tell you. Um, but you already have one person admitted or, or pled guilty. 
Another one um, was convicted. And uh, she's appealing. But yeah. It is, it is amazing watching our, our system and everything. But yeah, it's not, it's definitely not perfect. And if you've ever faced injustice with our system, I'm so sorry. Because it happens a lot. Especially if you don't have money. There was one case, this guy, um, he was arrested for, for some light offense. I forget what it was. But they didn't have the money to get him out, you know, on, on a, a bond. While he was in there, he was assaulted. His life is forever changed. He did eventually get out, but can't undo that, right? And he didn't have to be there. He could have gotten out. His his charge, I forgot what it was, but it was not that serious at all. He shouldn't he shouldn't have even really been um in there like that. But it happens. So, oh yeah, a lot, a lot of issues, but, and, and, um, do you guys ever watch a uh, Vinny Politan on court TV? I watch him too. I don't always agree with him, <laughs> especially the whole, if you're innocent, you don't need a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, he says that. He hasn't been on the other side. I mean, granted, you know, um, lawyers will say that because they, you know, they're lawyers. They want to be lawyers. But from what I've seen, here's the thing. Have you ever listened to your Miranda rights? You ever listen to it? It tells you right in there why you need a lawyer. They read you those rights. And one of the phrases, whatever you say can and will be used for you. Did it say that? Did it say it will can and will be used for you to help you? Does it say that? People need to listen. It tells you right off what it's about and why you shouldn't be speaking. It tells you right off. There's nothing in there that tells you that there's a benefit to you. In fact, it tells you the opposite. They're not going to look for, uh, what do they call it, exculpatory evidence for you. Meaning, they're not looking for evidence that's going to help you prove your innocence. That's not what they're doing. So, yeah. I have to beg to differ with him. I've seen too many innocents um, going away for a long time, only later to be exonerated. Mm-mm. Yeah, exactly, T. Smith. They definitely need it. But, you know, he was talking about, like, for example, um, the Madeline, uh, what's her last name? Soto, what case? 13 year old went missing and then found unalive. And her. Not really sure what he is. He's going to have a hard time in a prison. I'll tell you that. He's going to have a hard time. Over 60 counts, 60 charges. 
all from his phone that he tried to factory reset. Oops. He thought he was slick. He accidentally factory reset it on the day she went missing. Yeah. That reminds me of people that think um, deleting stuff off their computer means it's gone forever. It's not. If you want it actually gone, you need to actually do something. You need a program that's going to overwrite it many, many times. And anyway, I ain't trying to help y'all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you're not going to just do that if you want to erase stuff. But the mom, she made, she came out and uh, had some interviews, right? And now she's not talking. Honestly, she would have been better not talking even from before. Because people are picking apart her, um, her interviews, showing her inconsistent statements. You definitely... Any, anytime, if you're close, anytime somebody is asking you something, and I get it, you know, if you're a mom and or a father and your child is missing, of course you're going to want to talk and, and help, help them find it, you know? But, yeah, a lot of people would do well. To always at any time you talk to have some help all right not bad we managed to get um, get our 1 million mark as well as do the um, uh, t4 basic and I'll do these others later what now I saw um, Are we doing Alliance Quest? Okay, so it's reset. Because I was going to say, our raid one was over. So we should be waiting for our... Um... Oh, never mind. Raid rewards. I like it. Ooh, I'm invited to test a new product in my house. That's from, oh, okay. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. We definitely choose in that one. Hold on, let's claim it. Grab that. Thank you. One million gold. Thank you. Ooh. And 25% of a T6. Works for me. All right. Um, but anyway, guys, that is going to do it. Come back tomorrow, and we will be running that um, Legacy Challenge. I don't know how many revives it's going to cost me. I don't even know what path I'm going to take. We'll figure all that out tomorrow. All right. Let's see who's uh, streaming. We're, we're kind of late. But let's see if we got somebody. Somebody to love. Whoop. Golden Gun. He doing some battlegrounds. Yo, yo, yo. Let's get him. All right. Y'all know the deal. Hashtag out of the shadows. Whoops. Ignore that last character at the end. My personal views do not trust or talk to the media at all. That's a good, good personal view. All right, guys. Uh, take care. And you all have a blessed day.